Hi, this is Melody Payne from MelodyPayne.com and today I want to show you this cute game that I created just for your beginners. It's called Beethoven Says. It's very similar to the game Simon Says that kids already know how to play except they get to play along with Beethoven. This game reviews right hand and left hand, finger numbers, and white piano keys in one easy to play game. And here's how you play. Shuffle all the cards so that all of the finger numbers, all of the letters, and all of the colors are all mixed up. And then I have my student draw a card. So one card my student might draw could be this one. And it says Beethoven says with right hand, finger two, play A. So this is how I would play this card with a young beginner. I would definitely pause in between each one of the directives to give the student time to think about what I'm asking them to do. So I would say Beethoven says, and then I would say with right hand and give them a minute to figure out which one is the right hand once they've got it, finger two, and then figure out which one is finger two. Oh, here's finger two, play A. And what I prefer my students to do is to play every A on the entire piano keyboard so they're getting an excellent review of the piano keys as well as right hand, left hand, and finger numbers. So then my student would play every A, either going higher or lower or both. They might draw a card that says, Beethoven says, with left hand, finger four, play B. So I would ask my student to play all of the Bs with left hand, finger four. Now, sometimes between here and the piano keys, the finger four gets forgotten. So I have to remind the student that it's finger four and not finger two. So all the Bs with finger four, which might be a little bit of a challenge, but that's okay. We like a challenge. Then the next card the student draws might say, Beethoven says, with right hand, finger five, play F. Beethoven might say, with left hand, finger three, play G. And then Beethoven might say, with right hand, Finger four, play D. So you can see that this game has a lot of variety in asking for right hand or left hand, asking for one of all the finger numbers, and then asking for one of each letter on the piano keys. This game includes a card for every finger number playing every piano key of both the right hand and the left hand. So what you can do and what I enjoy doing a lot of the time is pulling out ahead of time the specific cards that I want to have my student review. For instance, if the student was having trouble with, let's say, left hand fingers four and five, or maybe right hand fingers four and five, I might pull out all the finger fours and finger fives. If my student was having trouble with new piano keys G and A, for example, because those are easy to get mixed up, I might pull out all the G cards and all the A cards. So there are a lot of different ways you can do this. It's also fun to use in groups and it's really, really easy to use in online piano lessons, just like it's easy to use in in-person piano lessons. So this is a sneak peek at the game Beethoven Says for beginners, reviewing right hand and left hand, piano finger numbers, and the white piano keys. This is Melody Payne at MelodyPayne.com. Thanks for watching.